Call David Bennett. Uh, Mr Chair, this bill is um, one that uh, has been in front of the Parliament for some time now, and uh, there has been a change at this uh, level of the debate. And uh, one of the fundamental purposes of the uh, New Zealand Superannuation Fund and uh, one of the requirements of how it's managed is to make sure that there is a, um, a sense of independence uh, from the minister in the way that that fund is organised. And um, it's a very fundamental uh, point um, of policy in regard to this setting up of the New Zealand Super Fund. Now, the Select Committee did, um, did in its um, great wisdom, uh, consider the issues around the Super Fund at that time. And uh, one of the issues was in regard to land ownership. Now, as that last speaker had spoke about, um, the Superfund does, contrary to what he says, own considerable amounts of farmland. And um, that farmland's predominantly in the South Island. And, um, and those farms are effectively businesses in their own right. And uh, the issue the Superfund has is that, as an owner of farmland, um, it effectively controls that business entity. Under the rules of the Superfund, it cannot have control of a New Zealand entity. So effectively, the super fund was um, engaging in those kind of purchases um, through a roundabout way um, to enable it to get land uh, purchases, to give it that um, diversity in its book. And um, in doing so, um, there, there becomes the issue then of where do you take it to the next level around um, control and management. And so it was considered by the select committee, and the select committee felt at that time that um, the minister may have the ability to do an approval process um, for such um, investments. And, um, and that was the original intent of what came before the bill, uh, in the, before the House in the original bill. Um, subsequently, the, that policy agenda, that policy driver that is fundamental to the super fund of independence has been decided to be um, the predominant policy rather than um, to look at how that control aspect may work. And so to provide for that independence, um, the, the SOP takes away that um, test of having the Minister of Finance to actually be the overall approver or disapprover of an investment. So it maintains that independence. Uh, the other part of the, um, the bill, which is a substantive change that was actually um, sought is in regard to investment through passive mechanisms uh, for the super fund. So effectively, uh, when you get to the scale of investment that they are in the market, um, the, and the rule is that they're not allowed to control the New Zealand business, it becomes very difficult for them uh, to invest to a significant level. So what this bill does is it enables them through a passive investment vehicle to hold larger stakes. Um, and so they will not actually be controlling those enterprises as such, um, but they will have that passive ability to, um, to be a, a large-scale investor. So basically the, the thing we've got to look about in this bill is that th giving them that ability to do so um, through the, uh, the, the fund investment vehicles, which are the um, uh, FIVs basically enables that passive investment um, by relaxing the control re restriction that was section 59. Um, and taking into account the fundamental principle that you want independence um, for this body as well, um, there was no need for that to, to have the Minister of Finance having that other test on top of those, um, those investments. So, so that's the rationale behind why um, the bill is in its current state. And, um, and it makes sense when you look at the fundamental principles of the uh, legislation and why the super fund was set up. And it also enables the super fund now to have much more flexibility um, in, in its investment portfolios and to take advantage of uh, assets that it can actually invest considerably in uh, for the benefit of all New Zealanders. Because we do have a small capital market and we do have a small number of significant players in that capital market. And the, the super fund is one of those significant players. And um, we wouldn't want to have them limited in their ability to fund the New Zealand market um, and to assist in the growth of the New Zealand entities um, by having un, un, unnecessarily contro control restrictions. And so, um, so the, the, the aspect of, of the change in this bill to enable those passive investment vehicles to enable them to make substantial holdings um, is to actually for the benefit of all New Zealanders and the Superfund going forward.
Thank you, Mr Chair. Call David Clark. Mr Chair, 